Hello YouTube. This is a special video. This is not our normally scheduled video and this is kind of probably taken a little bit out of order for us on our videos. But we had a message from Bob and it's a pretty important message I thought we'd want to share with you guys. Now a lot of you guys in the comment section can probably help Bob out a lot better than we can. Yeah. Yeah. So Bob, this is for you and hopefully some of the viewers and our subscribers will have some answers for you. But as my, you know, me, my opinion, if it, the problem is, is that he has a dog, two, two Doberman pups that are a little older now, and they have diarrhea, and they're using the bathroom in the house. One of them is. He doesn't know which one. Yeah. So it could be both. Yeah, he's, he's going to create one and figure out which one it is. It's Bonnie and Clyde is their names. One's a male and one's female. Um, so... He lives, he says, on acres of land. Um, he says it's possible that they've eaten a deer, that a deer carcass that somebody has dropped off, dumped. My advice is, if we were in this situation with Cruz, I would first make sure it isn't a medical issue. We would take Cruz to the vet, have him evaluated and checked, make sure there's no parasites, make sure there's no food poisoning, make sure there's you know, the GI tract's okay, make sure you didn't eat something over Thanksgiving. Maybe there's a bone in there um, obstructing the the bowels. He said as they get older, they're starting to roam. He said they're wanting to roam farther and farther from home, and that tells me that Bob's not able to watch them as they're roaming away. And that could be the problem. I mm -hmm. mean, there's all sorts of issues that could come out of that, from eating something uh, that their bellies can't handle, to, I mean, people are afraid of Doberman. But Cruz, he likes to roam, and he will get into anything. He, his collar, his training collar, had gotten, gotten wet in the ocean and stopped working. We're at the gas station, and he's really good off-leash. I mean, he's trained better off-leash than on-leash. But he, the reason he wears it is for this exact reason. He was distracted. He chased something. He wouldn't come back because he was focused on that. I mean, he knew I was still there. I wasn't going anywhere. So he was going to go do what he wanted and get whatever it was. But he came back. And his breath in the car smelled like, what'd you say it was? It smelled like a dead, rancid sea turtle. Yes. I mean, it was bad. And it was, I'm pretty sure it was both ends. Oh, it, it was. It was really <laughs> I'm pretty bad. sure it was bad. He ate something, it, it caused him problems. So with Bob's issue, it could have been eating something. It could be that somebody's afraid of him. If they're, How far are they roaming? And Bob mentions that he hasn't changed. We went through the, the, the normal things. Mm -hmm. He changed their diet. Is there a change in their schedule? Mm -hmm. uh, have your, has your work schedule changed? Could this be separation anxiety? All that, is the poop normal or has it got problems? Well, he says the poop is runny. The poop is runny and it's diarrhea. So it sounds like more of a medical thing to me. Uh, I would definitely get them checked out. It could be worms. It could be, there's like a, a whole list of this long. And it could be it really could be. simple. I mean, it could be simple. Um, I understand you let them out five hours a day. Maybe is that all at once or they out five hours all day at once because you may be bringing them in and they have a poop chip and then they have this diarrhea so it's going to have an accident in the house. Um, maybe bring them if, if they're using the bathroom in the house, like if Cruz was using the bathroom in the house, I'd be like, okay, we're having a problem. I'm going to let him outside for this long. I'm going to bring him in and let him stay in for this long. Maybe put him in a kennel for a little bit and then out of the kennel outside. To make him want to use the bathroom, make him think like, well, if I don't go now, I'm not going to have time later. Um, I hate to say it, Bob, but you need to dig through the poop. Yes. You're going to have to get your stick. You're going to have to go through this and see if you see any worms. If you see any little specks of something any that blood. could be. Yeah. If is it really dark, you know, is there internal bleeding? Um, I check Cruz's poop all the time. I don't know. Joey might get it on camera sometimes. But when he poops. I investigate it at least every other day, make sure everything's okay down there. Close-up pictures of poop are not real good for ratings. No. <laughs> yeah. So to summarize everything, vet, first of all, mm -hmm. the vet. Second, supervised outside a little better. If you don't have a fenced-in yard, if you see the video where I put up a, a complete fence for him for under $200. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got a video out there. Uh, I call it Doberman Jail. <laughs> but we put up a complete for, for under 200 bucks. If you could do something like that for a run lot for him until you can contain the situation. But anyway, if you have to go outside with them, whatever you got to do, 
make sure they're not getting into something bad for them. Are there any neighbors, anybody nearby could be intimidated, maybe putting out poison. I hate to say it in this day and time, but people do that. Mm -hmm. They throw out poison for your dog, especially if they're afraid of them. And let's say it's not medical. Let's say it is behavioral. At that point, if, if you're not able to, to deal with the behavioral issue yourself, consult a trainer. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the pet codes and places like that will have uh, some kind of reference for you to be able to contact the, the trainer. Out, okay, figure out why. We figured out why Cruz pees in the house. Yeah. Cruz only, he knows better. He loves to go outside and pee. He loves to go outside and use the bathroom. One and two. But we figured out he is a spiteful peer. If we are in the house somewhere and shut him out, he will pee. If we go outside to check the mail or to the barn or feed the horses, we're not feeding the horses, but can you hear the word? <laughs> he, um, no, we're not. He that. wants to go, and he will go and pee on something. That is the only times he pees. So we know we have to put him in the crate to keep him from peeing in the house. But if we're with him and we're up all night, whatever, he does not pee in this house. And Cruz has never pooped in the house ever. Um, but figure out why. The main reason is figure out if it's medical, behavioral. Um, it could be something that just can't help, can't hold it. If he accepts the fact that this is okay, he doesn't do it. So we know it's not a medical condition with him. Like mm -hmm. if he accepts that, oh, daddy's going to work, he's got this uniform on, I don't get to go there, he doesn't even try to go, mm -hmm. you can go sleep on the couch and there's no problem. Nope. Because there's no problem at all because he knows he can't go, he doesn't think he should be able to go. It's not a right. spiteful thing. But the moment that somewhere he thinks he should be able to go with you, He's five piece, and he does, and we haven't been able to correct it, so we've just worked around it. We put him in his kennel if we both have to go somewhere, or we have to go in the other room and he can't come. For right, some and you tell he's a Velcro dog. If he hears us say, well, let's get ready. Are you ready? Or something. He knows I'm not talking to him, I hope. I don't know. But he gets all excited. Um, and then he's in the mindset, I'm going somewhere. And then he expects to go, and if I leave and leave him out, he's gonna pee. He's gonna pee on his daddy's favorite chair. He's going to pee on my shoes. He's going to go upstairs and try to pee on my bed. He is a spiteful peer. So just see if you're, what could be causing your dog to want to, to use the bathroom in the house. They're not doing it when you're watching. And it kind of feels like if it was a medical problem that they would just do it whenever because they can't help it. Now, Bob mentioned also about scolding them. Now, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say probably not. I wouldn't do that because this could be a medical issue. Mm -hmm. How would you like to be scolded because you have diabetes? Right. You know, I wouldn't scold them for that. And plus, by the time you're finding it and coming there, they may not even know Remember. What, yeah, know what they've done. So I wouldn't scold them for that, Bob. I, I wouldn't do that. Just my personal opinion. I, I wouldn't scold them for that one because that could be anything. It no. could be completely out of their control. You know, if you know, now if they're peeing, they can control that, you know, unless they have a bladder issue. But... It's really odd for a dog just to go pooping in the house. I definitely think it may be a medical condition. Like I said, I'm not a vet. I'm not a professional. I can only, I worked at a vet's office. That doesn't make me, you know, a veterinarian. And there's all kinds of issues that could be going on because these dogs were abandoned. Mm -hmm. These were abandoned dogs when he got them. Yeah, and thank you for through. rescuing these dogs. Oh, yeah. Too. Thank you very much, Bob. So, listen, also in the future, if there's any answers that you need the comment sections are wealth we've got some really great people who follow our channel there may even be some veterinarians that watch i mean we'll get you some we'll try our best to get you some knowledgeable information um trust me these people know better than we do yeah <laughs> the commenters the are a lot more experienced than we are and that's why we decided to do the video so hopefully we'll get you some help and help you with bonnie and clyde i looked at their photos they're cute adorable little puppies um need an update give us an update on what they like now. Comment down there, Bob. Let us know what went, went on. Mm -hmm. Let us know what happened with them because we'd really like to know. I'm sure everybody else wants to know too. But keep an eye on them when they're outside. Yeah, yeah you can't trust the other people. Thank you for watching. And listen, December 21st, we've got a premiere uh, that we've had going on for a long time. It's mm -hmm. our Christmas kind of thing. But the 25th is going to start. Our, we, we decided to do a bucket list road trip for him mm -hmm. while he's still young enough to enjoy it. So what we did is we packed him up and we took him to Florida and we decided to keep him with us mm -hmm. every minute of the trip. 
and make it a bucket list for a Doberman. So we did everything fun that a Doberman would want to do. I think we did. And we tried to make every minute the perfect one. Now the problem we had with the whole bucket list road trip, he spoiled to death. Now that we got home, he, oh, yes. <laughs> he thinks that every second should be on our knee, should be on our hip. So he spoiled any th this food that he got. I'm gonna make him supper here in a second because kibble <laughs> plain is just no, no good anymore. We have made the transition to almost completely raw diet now. So the raw diet video you saw, we have made just leaps and bounds past that, and we're we're really on the on the raw. Yeah, raw we got track. a smoothie blender. We're blending vegetables, fruit meat um we're still giving some people i know people say that's bad but i also read that it's not it's okay um dogs have a really great digestive system now it's funny but he doesn't like chicken liver no <laughs> he hates chicken liver so he wasted a whole meal by blending chicken liver with it he wouldn't eat it nope. yeah so test your it. meats before you um waste a bunch of food beef liver He's Loves good with it. it. Loves it. Thank you guys for watching. We can't tell you how much we appreciate it. I love making these videos. I love spreading the, the knowledge and the and the love of the Doberman. So again, we are not experts. We are not we, we're not doctors, but we play one on TV. Is that what? That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we are not dog experts. We just we got this dog and we share our experiences with you. And as we learn something, we try to share it. All right. And uh, everything mostly on our channel is specifically about this guy, about him. Um, and if you have any ideas, if you if there's anything you want to know and you'd like to see a video about it, we'll do our best. I think this is the most exciting to me. I usually, I'm not usually in the YouTube videos on purpose. <laughs> but I'm not really a YouTuber. All right. Thanks again, guys. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Yes, have a great Christmas, Christmas and happy holidays and try to stay warm. If you're, you know, anywhere in the north like we are, you, you need to try to stay warm. We got, we've been stepping our game up. I'm not going to kid. I'm not going to kid with you. We are. We have really stepped it up. Thank you. Goodbye. What's up there? He doesn't even a little uh, winter like sports jacket. He's wearing that. I know. Give him the snow. I can get one of it.